In today's video, I will show you how to use the Day Trading Booster Indicator to detect market trade opportunities. The Day Trading Booster Indicator is designed to assist in determining market peak times, the times where better trading opportunities may arise. Also, it can be used to assist in determining potential trading opportunities and to help traders create their own strategies. To apply this trading indicator, search the keywords Day Trading Booster and select the EP version by DGTRD on TradingView's Community Scripts folder. Let's check the functionality settings for this indicator under the Input Settings. Under the Input Settings, there is the Opening Channel. By default, it is set to None. Next, there are five trading sessions. Sydney Session, Deep Blue Color, Tokyo Session, Pink Color, Frankfurt Session, Yellow Color, London Session, Change the Light Blue to White Color, New York Session, Green Color, as we can see, each trading session has different colors. How does the Day Trading Booster Indicator help to detect trade opportunities in the market? Using this indicator to detect trade opportunities depends on traders' trading time zone or trading sessions. In the Sydney and Tokyo sessions, traders should focus on currency pairs such as Australian Dollars, Japanese Yen, New Zealand Dollars, Japanese Yen. In the Frankfurt and London sessions, traders should focus on currency pairs such as Euro British Pound Sterling, Euro USD, British Pound Sterling USD. And in the New York sessions, traders should focus on currency pairs such as USD Canadian Dollars and other USD currency pairs. Therefore, in each market session, Traders need to patiently watch out for volume in the price of assets that fall into their time zone. Whenever there is a powerful bullish or bearish price breakout in such market sessions, resistance, or support sessions, then traders can look out for a trade anticipation. Alternatively, a test of the peak or low of this market session could result in a reversal or price swing. Let's study the USD-Japanese Yen bullish trend in this one-hour time frame. As we can see, after the strong bullish confirmation above the green New York session here, price never returned back to this medium. Here, after the strong bullish confirmation above the blue Sydney session, price proceeded upward. As we can see, the continuity of this bullish move was confirmed by each strong bullish close of price above the corresponding trading session to the currency pairs. This is an example of how to buy with this trading indicator. Each price breakout of resistance or a pullback to the previous resistance structure was confirmed by the Sydney or New York trading session. To buy, Execute a buy entry at each close of the bullish confirmation bar that is above the color corresponding trading session to USD Japanese Yen. Stop loss should be placed at each low of the indicator painted session bullish bar entry confirmation. To sell with the day trading booster indicator, we need to watch out for a bearish trending market. As we can see, after the strong bearish confirmation below the blue Sydney sessions in this market, price never returned back to the bearish breakout zones. Anytime there is a strong bearish close below the blue Sydney session, price usually proceed downward. To sell, execute a sell entry at each close of the bearish confirmation bar that is below the color corresponding trading session to New Zealand Japanese Yen. Stop loss should be placed at each high of the indicator painted in the session bearish bar entry confirmation. It's time I execute some trades based on the Day Trading Booster Indicator trading strategy on the MT4 Exnus Brokers trading account. To trade with this trading indicator on the MT4 Exynos trading account, I need to mark each trading time session zones in my MT4 trading account. I want to trade the USD Swiss, which falls into the New York sessions. 
Therefore, I will use a green vertical line to mark these sessions on my MT4 Exynos price chart here. Beginners can use the TradingView chart as a guide to mark these sessions on the MT4 Exynos price chart. For the USD Swiss, I will use the 1 hour time frame to mark the sessions in this downtrend. 1 hour is the best time frame to manually mark the trading sessions. Also, take note of the daylight savings time. DST starts last Sunday in March at 1 UTC. And DST ends last Sunday in October at 1 UTC. Since my trading period is from 12th January 2023, then I will use the 16 time period. I will mark each 16 clock time period on this price chart. Now time to trade. Price trading on the green vertical line of the New York session. Time to define resistance and support zones in this session medium. Price broke the defined support. Time to execute a sell entry. We will place a stop loss at resistance at 0 0.93133 and target two risk to reward ratios at 0 0.91125. Sell trade profit achieved. On the British pound sterling USD, I will execute a buy bullish breakout entry. Stop loss at 1.22399 and take profit target at 1.23989. Buy trade profit achieved. As you can see, this is a powerful trading strategy that can help to detect trade opportunities without traders spending most of their time seeking trade setups in the market. Demo trade this trading strategy before applying it to trade in a live market condition. Looking forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.